All right, welcome back to Last Play on Dungeons and Dragons Talk. Um, so we're here because... Uh, well, I mean, we're here because we're playing video games, but, um, so both of us have a decent amount of experience DMing as well as playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, one of the big things that I, like, miss when I'm a DM is, like, not having the ability to, like, play my own characters. Oh, boy. And so, I guess my question to you is, like, what has been your favorite character ever to play? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. favorite character ever to play? Um... So, I was actually the GM at the time. It was a GM insert character, which are usually a bad idea, but I feel like I was... Oh, I think I know who this ...restrained is. enough with it. Um, but I was a mouse wizard. I was part part mouse, part wizard. All badass. I mean, um, that last part's up to debate, but definitely part <laughs> mouse and part wizard. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was... Uh, it was in the um, Jade Regent... Jade Region Adventure Path uh, for Pathfinder that I was running, and I yeah I decided to add add him in. Oh, you can't block with this staff. NPC. That's interesting. I, I can kind of block. Oh no! It, oh, that's is that me pressing R one? Because keeps saying you that message keeps popping up, and I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I'm not the one who's pressing the button. I'm, oh I'm boy, not, you're dying! I'm a, oh boy, I'm I died oh, yeah, before you, you. I I got my mana back though. So I pressed the wrong button. Nice. Um, favorite, yeah, favorite, favorite, favorite character, Remus Fitz Bartholomew, um, was a mage's experiment to create a new race. Um, kind of similar to... Oh, uh, kind, of, um, kind of similar to uh, how a lot of races in D&D &D are created by just some mad wizard who's like, I'm going to put, I'm gonna put a, plug an owl into a bear and make an owl bear. Yeah, that was a good idea. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what followed a very very bad idea yeah um nothing good came from that experiment and uh so i i figure i was one of those i was made by one of the arc lords of nex um which are uh it's, is, is a country and a, a group of wizards in the in galarian the pathfinder universe okay and yeah woke up in a vial and my creator was gone uh, only learned about him by teaching myself to read uh, and reading his stuff. Uh, part of his notes, I found that I had a very short lifespan. Um, and I was probably the only one created. Did you level up? I didn't I level leveled up. up. You did oh, not. Yeah, I know, right? Um, yeah, and so became a wizard. Uh just by reading all the books in my creator's tower and then uh, went out to go find where my creator had gone. He found my way north. Yeah. And he... Because Jade Region has a lot of caravanning... Yeah, you, you're, you're, gen you're part of a caravan that's going to uh, cross, cross the North Pole and go down into uh, the uh, adjacent... adjacent. Adjoining, um, oh boy, oh, oh boy, ah, no, you you take care of that. Yep, I'm I'm uniquely equipped for this. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I'm running out of arrows. All right, what a twist. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of caravanning, um, and we, and my my mouse would had had a, had a thing for other mice. That was because they're they're like they're like me, but they're stupid. Oh, um, I died. You died. I died immediately died. too. Great. Well done. Did we save? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been saving a little bit more often because it is very easy to just get wiped by these slimes. <laughs> <laughs> these slimes are. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be a good way to dodge them. No, it's just try not to get killed by them. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so they're like me, but stupider. Um, and so I would kill. Oh, scimitar. Did you equip that? No, oh, but I can give it to you. Do you, do you not want to equip it? No, because I, I use mostly bows and light mace, man. Oh, okay, all right. All this right. way you can use a shield. Because okay. I think it is the fact that you can't dodge with a staff. Yeah. I don't even have one. I don't have a... Here, a take shield. this one. Okay. Give me that. Give me this. Ba -ba -ba -da. Yeah. And then... Sky and nice. so we would, we would travel from town to town, from village to village. Uh... 
going farther north and farther north until we were oh, going to cross the North Pole. But um, because I would kill all of the uh, cats in a city, that it would it would cause an an exponential an exponential growth in the rodent and general vermin population, mm -hmm. which would spread disease. And also, in this campaign, one of our other players was playing a um, a witch who specialized in animating and taking control of undead, otherwise known as a necromancer. Yep, who had, among other things, a giant like undead dragon following them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Essentially, there'd be like all of the all of the cats would die, and the mice and vermin would overtake a city, and then like undead would start appearing mm. and like causing trouble. And so, yeah. as a whole, it was just a very we were we were not intentionally destroying these cities as we passed <laughs> passed, but just those two characters combined did not leave the cities better than when no, they came no. by. Horsemen of pestilence and the horsemen of death. Yeah. Uh, and another thing is that uh, she could only control so many, um, so many undead um, at a time, and so whenever, whenever she could not control uh, a greater amount of undead, but there's still undead she wanted to control, she would just let them go. And so we'd we'd leave trails. Ooh, fine long sword. Ooh, that's absolutely what I want to do. It's fine, I guess. Um, Bye. Ooh, nice. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. That's a healing potion. Nice. So yeah, would like basically select an undead that they she did have control over and be like, "You're free now. Do whatever you want." Yeah, which would usually include you know just raising villages to the ground. Yeah, undead are not killing anything. Undead alive. have no chill. They've got they've got no chill, it's, despite being immune to cold mostly. Yeah. By the way, you leveled up. Well, so you can upgrade your burning hands. Nice. So yeah, we would leave a path of destruction. The favorite thing that happened in that campaign is she had taken control of a giant spider. And by giant, I mean like gargantuan. Like, like uh, the size of a large building kind of spider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bigger bigger than Shelob. Yeah, and so... And we were exploring this like... This um, frozen wasteland with this giant spider. And kind of running for pursuance. And so what happened was we had come across like a group of like travelers and they're like oh what are you here where are you going and we lied to try and throw off our pursuers and then I shortly died. thereafter <laughs> oh, shortly wow. thereafter we came after came across this uh this cave that was the way we needed to go but our spider was too big to fit into this cave and so the <laughs> she was like you know what we told these people that we're going to the east so like hey giant spider that everyone knows is following our caravan go two days east and then you're free of my control and then I had remembered a little tidbit, and Dakota, the DM, had remembered a little tidbit, and we're both like, two days to the east, eh? And we confirm on the map, it's like, yep, there's a town, two days to the east. Yeah. And you said, go two days east, and you're free of my control. Godzilla. Size. Godzilla spider, sicked on a town. Yeah. It was like, pretty accidental, guys. It's like, that it's, it's, it doesn't matter. He's still sick to giant undead spider on an unsuspecting town. Worse, though, the spider was also a bloody spider. Ooh, arrows. And also magic level. Oh, there's gloves for you. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, yeah, the bloody spider. Is there anything else in this corner? Oh. No. There's gotta be something. No, really. No. Yeah, a bloody spider, which means that not only does it regenerate very quickly when you injure it, after it's completely destroyed, it will reform about a day later. <laughs> Unless yeah. you specifically a couple, have... A couple hours. I'm oh, it's a sure. couple hours? It's like, it's like four hours or something. Dang. Maybe like, two hours. Like the Red Skeletons in Symphony of the Night. Yeah. So essentially, unless they got like a paladin or a decently strong cleric by to like consecrate the ground where this spider was killed, it would just, even if they managed to defeat it, would come back a couple hours later to continue wreaking havoc on their town. So we were the good guys. Let's, uh, let's, let's remind people that we were the good guys. I died again. <laughs> nice. I was healing too. I know. I was chugging those potions. Like I said, they're not they're not they're not instantaneous. You got you can't really rely on them to uh mm -hmm. okay, so I'm just gonna Ow. This hurts so much. I I I don't know. I'm just gonna steal all your XP. That's cool. I don't need it I don't need it, obviously. Not using it well enough. <laughs> I mean 
dying should count as a lot of experience. I just didn't want to come back because I knew this lever was here. I actually probably could have just hit the lever and, and just left. But I didn't. So yeah, Remus the Mouse Wizard, your favorite character? Yeah, Remus. Remus. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just kind of. It's just kind of fun to be like tiny sized. Yeah. And still wreak havoc with magic. And, uh, and I think the the best part about Remus for us and why we we're like kind of cool with him being a character is that there's so much like when you we we're at a level where there's you find a lot of stuff that's just not worth the effort picking up and keeping track yeah. of. It's like oh, it's a long sword or like you killed all these kobolds and they dropped a bunch of axes. Each of them sells for like a gold piece, and it's like we don't we don't care. We don't Remus care to like. Cared. And yeah, Remus, Remus was cared. Super poor and needed money, um, and so. Basic, would would follow them around in the dungeon with a donkey and a cart and would pick up uh, everything that we couldn't be asked to... It could, couldn't be bothered to, to carry. Yep. And so it, it was quite the relationship. Remus got his money and then would occasionally buy stuff for us. Mm -hmm. And we just left a bunch of stuff we didn't bother carrying. And everyone wins. Yes. And it, it adds up. You end up with a lot of money. This is a pretty nice place in this sewer. Yeah. Is it, they're going to be a beholder. Mm, I don't know. I, I do know. I'm just going to pretend that I don't know. Okay. Because I, I know a little bit about the uh, the undercity of... Um, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. And so this is... Have you done as I asked? Um, yes, this is yes, this is the guy that mugged us. He apparently so like apparently he is both important enough to have face to face meetings with the head of a thieves guild, but also low enough that he's involved with daily muggings of random passers by. Yeah, I feel like they're very understaffed at this thieves guild. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's it, to be fair, like thieves, it's it's hard. That job application is very hard to attract people for. Mm. You get a, you don't get a lot of applications. Nope. Nope. Now. Not not very long lifespans. Yeah. Now oh, now he's getting in trouble because we freed the prisoner. No word from the bug oh, the bug. You you uh, guys set up the bugbears in the server the sewers. sewers. Find out what has happened to uh, soldiers and bring me. Do not fail me at this, Karn. There is a minor interruption in our plans, but apparently but you're not allowed to fail me on this. I sent to the temple. No. No. If he places the orb as instructed, Ooh. he will not be coming back. Oh. Tell your men to avoid the temple. To enter it now is... Oh, yeah. I remember We're going to enter there. Yep. I remember what this is about. I remember everything about what we're about to face. Loading. Yep. We're facing a loading fight the screen. loading screen? I sure point? hope not. That'd be it too meta for me. dangerous. Although, as a credit sequence... Yep. Here we are. These are, these are zombines. Yep. Zombines. <laughs> Not Hold on, I should equip a mace because, like traditional Dungeons and Dragons, they take additional damage from blunt. Cool. cool. Oh, but my mace is so weak that it doesn't matter. Hold on, level go plus one gives me three. Do you have? What are you wearing on your gloves? I just have regular gloves that are plus two. So okay. the jewel okay. selfs for more. So like, keep it, sell it. Okay. okay. All right. But the boots are. Worn leather boots. Oh, Anyways, yeah. next time on Last Play, Upgrade. we deal with uh, the zombies. Moving my hips. Zombie. 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 Eh. Eh.